Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to video number seven of PLR Powerhouse. So we're beginning to get into the uh, second half of the course, which contains some of the heavy information that you're going to need to be using to finish setting up your funnel. Now, uh, this video is a sh one of the shorter videos. It just goes over uh, the separation and the distinctions between your lead magnet and your product. Because the way the funnel works is as follows. Uh, you're going to have a squeeze page and you're going to have a sales page, which are two of the, the two most important web pages that you're going to be creating in this course. Now, uh, if you have a squeeze page and a sales page, you're going to need to offer something on both of them. The difference is the what you're giving away on your squeeze page is going to be free, and what you're uh, what you're selling on your sales page is going to cost uh, buyer money, of course. Now, uh, some people like to just set up a squeeze page and that's it they all they want are subscribers and then once they get those subscribers they focus entirely on selling to them through uh, their email inboxes without worrying about creating a uh, sales page and a paid product now if that's what you want to do the PLR product that you've already created uh, you can sell you can put that on your squeeze page and give it away for free however if you want to that PLR product that you created, you, you want to actually sell it, well then we're going to go over the process of creating something uh, that we're going to give away for free on your, on your squeeze page, and that's called a lead magnet. So let's go. Uh, what is a lead magnet? You might have heard me use the term niche report as well. A lead magnet is what you give away on your squeeze page. It's, uh, it's the bait that you wave under your potential subscriber's nose for him to, in return, drop his name and email into the email capture and then from then on he is an addition to your list so a good tempting lead magnet will cause people to opt in to your uh, opt into your email list and then once they become part of your list you can uh, contact their email inboxes as many times as you want now an unattractive and otherwise non tempting lead magnet will excite no one and send conversions dropping faster than a rock so, for, for example, let's give a squeeze page example. So, if you had, uh, let's turn to the example of the, the solar slash energy niche subscribing list. Now, an unattractive lead magnet might be, uh, here's a simple way for you to, uh, let's see, here's a simple way for you to conserve two or three percent electricity off your next energy bill now uh... two or three percent energy that's a that's that is technically a saving and while that might be attractive some people most people aren't going to be thrilled to hear that oh wow i could save two percent off of my next energy bill well i'm going to opt in right now and get that book now a tempting lead magnet was i created a catchy uh... I created a catch your free report called here are nine insider tips to reduce 70 percent off your next electric bill now look at the way I framed that to the potential subscriber here are nine inside tips inside tips of the industry that you are not going to find anywhere else but for a limited time only I'm giving them away for free to anyone who cares now who doesn't want to have free stuff and on top of that who doesn't want to have secret info that uh, gives them a leg up on the competition? I mean, if you, if for example, Michael Jordan, if any of you play sports, what if Michael Jordan said, oh, here's uh, six insider tips I used to become a, one of the most talented basketball players who ever lived. I mean, if you were an athlete, if you were, if you love basketball, wouldn't you jump at the chance to hear what made, hear what made one of the greats work? And it's kind of the same concept for this example. I mean, wouldn't you be really excited to have inside information on how to reduce your electric bill? And then on top of that, you're offering to reduce the electric bill by 70%. That is a heck of a lot. So that 
is a tempting lead magnet that will catch the interest of your buyer and that will, I mean your, I'm sorry your subscriber and that builds a list so what should your lead magnet consist of well I'd say don't make it too fancy or don't make it too complicated now three pages to four pages of good information that's more than enough you don't have to like write an entire course dissertation or something just like a few pages a handful of pa pages will work just fine now PDF format is what you're going to be giving it to to your subscribers just some text and some images and if you want to go the extra mile you can create an e-cover that's what we're uh, that's what I've chosen to do as well I've already had an e-cover created for this book now this book should contain links inside of it to two different sources to your affiliate uh, links to other affiliate products if you choose to include those and to your sales page which is uh, which is pretty much mandatory you gotta have links to your sales page in that uh, ebook that way when people click to learn more they'll be taken to your sales page and now here's an opportunity for them to learn even more about uh, whatever your uh, PLR course is about and that tempts them that makes them uh, want to purchase to get more tips and more insight so we're going to return and uh, fill up that those links and those affiliate links later in the course right now we're going to start creating the lead magnet but we're going to once we uh, also get the sales page up and running and once we get the affiliate links ready to go once we've picked out some affiliate products we'll come back to the lead magnet and outfit it with what it needs so now what we're going to do right now is create a quick simple easy example lead magnet it's not complicated it's not difficult let's go All right, so let's get the process started on creating our own lead magnet. Now I've already assembled a couple of materials for this purpose. If we go to my uh, PLR video payday product, and let's go to the lead magnet folder. Uh, I've created a little e-cover right there that I'm going to be using uh, both to put in front, uh, put put on the title page of my new lead magnet, and I'm also in future I'm going to be putting this e-cover on the squeeze page so I can uh, give buyers a visual rep representation of what they're about to get. I've also included a couple of little images here that I want to be part of the lead magnet. So now let's go actually get the process of creating the lead magnet underway. Let me just open up Google Chrome and go to google.com now my course is called PLR video payday therefore I'm looking for articles and information that uh, I can put in my lead magnet though you know that are on those topics I've already given my lead magnet let me just open up word I've given my lead magnet a a working title of how to make money with PLR video There's a misspelling of how to make money. Well, I'm going to go back and get that fixed later, but for now, let's just continue as if that type was not there. How to make money with PLR video is going to be the name of the course. I'm sorry to leave magnet. Save as. PLR video. Next step, insert the image. <laughs> Bam. Next step, I'm just going to give myself the credit of creating this lead magnet. Created by Now, look how simple that was. All I did was put in a title, put in a, an e cover, and it's uh, put in my author name as well. We're not quite done, but it's just, it doesn't really get any harder than that. It's not like uh, this is a big, complicated process 
of creating a, a lead magnet that has to be has to be a, uh, stick to the strictest standards or something like that now so I'm just gonna let's see I want some more information on how to make money with PLR video so we can put it in the put it in the lead magnet and now I'm seeing some articles uh, by pe by people's blogs, all oh, this looks like good information that I can uh, that I can use as well. And there's actually another great uh, resource, which are article directories. Hmm. What I'm looking for is for my favorite article directory. Oh, GoArticles.com is a great one. EZineArticles.com. That's a great one too. Now, these have these places have articles on every topic imaginable. So if I write PLR video, let's see what pops up. Look, lots of good content. Now let me make a careful note here, a careful disclaimer. Let's say, let's put it that way: copying and plagiarizing content that is not yours. That is simply not cool. Don't do it. Uh, you can get in trouble. People can uh, complain. Your subscribers will rightfully, they might call you out on it. Oh, look at this. You just copy paste this from the internet. Uh, on the other hand, it's not, like, uh, it's not like you cannot read these articles. So what I recommend doing is paraphrasing. Simply paraphrase good information. Uh, read a few articles and put it in your own words. The, uh, no one has any to write, no one has a right to you know uh, facts or anything like that so just read uh, find an article that's in your niche get the facts down get them right and then write it out in your new lead magnet that's all there is to it so in the interest of time uh, let's speed ahead I'm not gonna do anything really fancy I'm just going to find an article that I like I like this one right here. I'm going to read it, summarize it, put it in my own words in the lead magnet. And it doesn't have to be a lot of content at all. Like one to two pages is plenty. And I'm going to show you how to make it look like it's even more content than that. So let's just say I'm going to write a page of good information. All right, so I'm going to pause this while I get that done. Okay. So I've gone ahead and added some content to uh, the lead magnet, and it's already three pages long. There's not much left to do at this point, but I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, some things I recommend for you know having a good lead magnet, for having good content. So uh, what I personally like to do is make sure the font is no less than size 14. I'm going to justify it as well. I just like the way justifying the text uh, looks on the eyes. And as a bonus, I'm also going to uh, make it double spaced. Just, uh, you know, make it even more, make it even longer. Now, uh, one last thing I'm going to do is insert the images that I wanted to insert. And do another one here. I just like the way they look. That's all. That's pretty much most of the long and short of it. Now, uh, as long as we have relevant info and it's written in our own words, double spaced, uh, it has some. It looks nice. The text looks great. I've put in some images in the ebook cover. I've given it a title. It's not a hundred percent done because there's still some affiliate affiliate and uh, sales page links to drop. However, it is pretty much uh, complete uh, besides that. So let's go ahead and save it. How to make money with PLR video. We have ourselves a nice little lead magnet. Uh, so that's about that. Once that's wrapped up, let's just go back and finish the presentation. All right, so we just went through the process of creating a lead magnet. It's not really any more complicated than that. That's all there is to it. 
Now, uh, just in case you didn't catch it before, if we might be curious about your PLR product, well, uh, the one that we created earlier in the course, well, that's what we're going to be selling on the sales page. It, unless you don't want a sales page at all, that's what I recommend to do. If for some reason you don't want a sales page at all in your course, you can just um, use the PLR product created previously as a lead magnet instead. However, your PLR product should contain a lot more in-depth and uh, useful information than a lead magnet should. Think of the lead magnet as an appetizer and the PLR product, the sales products that we're going to be selling is the main course. It should contain more in-depth, attractive information than this little report that I whipped up in like 10 minutes or less. Now it's up to you to s how you want to structure your funnel, but I recommend uh, selling your PLR product on a sales page uh, that we're going to be creating and just using a simple little lead magnet as the freebie. Now the lead magnet and niche report that, we're going to, that we've done, we're going to be putting it on the squeeze page to attract opt-ins. Once opt-ins come, they'll be taken to a download page and then to our sales page. Uh, we'll be taking to both, I'm sorry, they'll be taking to both the download page and the sales page. The sales page will be uh, the more attractive product that we're going to be selling, the PLR product. So that's about it. Uh, there's not much left to talk about in this video. Just create your own lead magnet, get things going. I'll see you in the next one.